Tales of the Forgotten Europa 8 The following audio imprint was recovered by Glint, the ghost, during scans of an exo-production facility on Europa. Its origin remains a mystery. Mortimus III looked so content lying on the conveyor belt, like he was getting the best sleep of his life. I envied him. Once the conveyor belt started, the maker's spindly pneumatic arms came to life. They descended on Mortimus, darting in and out of his joints, dismantling him piece by piece. It started with his hands and feet and worked its way inward, unmaking him from a hole into a million tiny components. There was a moment after all his limbs and torso had been stripped away, and he was just a head with a long jumble of neural connectors streaming out of his neck like a robotic jellyfish. When his eyes opened, he looked at me, mouth gaping, like he was trying to tell me something, and then his eyes went dark. It's my turn next.